everybody, Ruby Roo here, remember me? And this is my good pal, Ruby. And we're back ready to learn some fun new things with our magic wheel. All right, Ruby, let's get to it. There it is. All right, let's see what we're going to learn today. Recycling symbol. I guess that means we're going to be doing some recycling today. Great. Let's save the planet, shall we? Wait, what are these items? Okay, let's see what we have here. We have some old soda cans, and then we have a little bath of ice water. We have some tongs. What's that? A camping stove and a pan? Rubit. I can't quite work this one out. What's that, little buddy? You've got an idea? Okay, go for it. Crush the cans without touching them. Oh, I totally got this, Reuben. <laughs> okay, okay, you're right, Reuben. This isn't exactly working, but... Oh, what if I use these? All right, let's think about this one for a second. What's that, little buddy? You've got an idea? Okay, go for it. Put a little bit of water in the cans. Okay, I can do that, Rubit. I just need a little water. Can you help me out? Okay, thank you very much. And to pour some water in the cans. Just a little bit. There. Okay, now heat up the cans using the camping stove and the pan. What are you gonna do, Rubit? Melt the cans? Oh, I see. The melting point of aluminum is too high. So, let's get to heating. Here, we're gonna turn the stove on. And the first can is going into the pan. So why are we heating things up, Rubit? Mm -hmm. Okay, remember friends at home, make sure you get an adult to help you out because we're heating things up on the stove and that can be dangerous, so be careful. Okay, now that we've waited a little bit, touch the cans to the ice water upside down. Rubit, what will that do? We just heated them up. Okay, here goes. We're gonna use our tongs because it's hot. Be careful. Touching it to the water. Upside down. <laughs> Did you see that? It's totally crinkled. Whoa, that was so neat that it worked. Let's try with the other cans. Let's heat those up too. Take this one out. Heat this one up. Now we just have to wait. Neat. Remember when we put the water in the cans at the start? Well, when we heated it, we turned it into steam, which forced all the air out of the cans. But when we touch the can to the water like this, the cold turns it back into water, which takes up less space. We successfully, Rubik, crushed three cans without touching them. <laughs> nice work at home, everybody. Join us next time for more fun learning. Oh, right, after we clean all of this up. <laughs> I guess since we crinkled so many cans, they should probably go in the recycling bin. Good 
Great job.